From Chicago's North Shore to the U.S. Capitol riot tonight, a Kenilworth man is facing charges in connection with the January 6th insurrection. CBS News' Charlie DeMar reports social media helped the feds track him down. Charlie. Brad, good evening. Christian Kulis appeared before a federal judge earlier today in a hearing that took place over the phone. Now, federal charging documents, they reveal that former classmates of Kulis's actually identified him in social media posts that surfaced in the days following that January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. They identified him and turned him in. <laughs> 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 Laughing as he marched up the Capitol steps January 6th, wearing a Keep America Great hat and Burberry coat, federal prosecutors say Christian Kulis posted videos of himself breaking the law at the Capitol. The North Shore native and Lake Forest High School graduate now charged with unlawful entry and disorderly conduct on U.S. Capitol grounds. They could be allowed to come up here with us. Coolis is accused of posting video of President Donald Trump speaking at the January 6th rally moments before the Capitol was stormed. <laughs> the crowd chanting, stop the steal, as people climb the Capitol wall. Eventually, the group makes it up the steps. That's where prosecutors say Coolis turns the phone around on himself and laughs. <laughs> the video picks up inside the Capitol where Coolis talks as he holds the camera. Storm in the Capitol. Internet sleuths circulated these posts in the days following the insurrection. That brought us to the Coolis's Kenilworth family home back in January. Hi there, Charlie DeMar with CBS Chicago. His mother wasn't interested in talking then, and when we revisited today, Nobody came to the door of the sprawling multi-million dollar home, which is where Christian will stay under his mother's supervision as his case continues. North Shore resident Mary Bowman. Yeah, yeah, you got charged. Oh, I have duck bumps. Bowman says she's relieved that arrests continue to be made in what the Department of Justice expects to be one of its largest investigations. But it shocks me that someone who is that uh, seemingly affluent Let's go out on a limb and say educated mm -hmm. would believe all this craziness. Coolis is one of more than 465 people to be charged in connection with storming the Capitol back on January 6th. Live from the Dirksen Federal Court Building, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie.